You're broken down and tired of living life on the merry-go-round. And you can't find a fighter, but I see it in you, so we gon' walk it out. We have had a wonderful, wonderful day here today. The collective of Hashtag Black Girl Magic SL Chapter wants to honor everyone who has been participating in the events of the day. We give a very special appreciation to our podcast guests, our speakers and guests for our roundtable discussion, and all the beautiful ladies who will be modeling for you tonight. I'd like to honor at this time Velvet Nightstar, Maya Gant, Jackie Lefko, Ebony Legend, and Simone Udimo. My special honor to our gracious Monrosi Potocorvo. Monrosi has been instrumental in putting together this evening's event of the fashion show, and without her unwavering efforts, this show would not have had the wow factor you will be witnessing tonight. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce you to a young woman who has been in SL for many years, has been a performer here in SL since 2012. She has brought her real life passion of dancing and choreography into SL and has done amazing things. The bridging of her passion for dance from real to second life is a testament to her desire to share her talent to far reaching audiences. We are so very pleased that she is here tonight to perform for us. Please give a very warm welcome to Dance Arena Starlight as she performs a dance interpretation to Rise Up by Arena Day. that we have each other A narrative, a story told and moved a long time with the interpretations, meanings, and suggestions of others. Some narratives are rarely about one individual, although they can be just that. Other narratives are often about a group, a community, a legacy belonging to the family, a looking back at the ancestry and history of people who share roots tied to a particular nation. The stories of these narratives are often filled with capacity, determination, and the will of strength to rise above depressed and oppressed circumstances. But the narrative can and often is told by an other who has no birth strings, connections with, or ties to the narrative. They push and drag through the ages of time. Often too, these narratives told by the other are constructed with a single purpose, to be the erasures of the truth and to subvert the very existence of that truth. 
The narrative of the black woman's voice is one that has moved its way along cultures and societies, often told in ways that are meant to silence and weaken our voices. Words used in the narratives to the other describe the voice of black women as abrasive, belligerent, defiant, impulsive, mean, unintelligent, and wretched. The black woman's voice is scary, that is, the angry black woman, the crazy black woman, the loud black woman. These depictions from the other use such terms to strategically silence the voice of black women. They use the narratives they create about black women to shape shift black women's character, disposition, and existence in spaces of family, community, and nations. They use the narratives they create to hide the excellence, the grace, and the talent of black women. Why does the other want to silence the voice of the black woman? It is a violent question that we here can answer. Silencing the black woman has the potential to silence a nation of people. The power of our voices have long ago and to this moment given a grand rising to nations. We have looked on the faces of our men and children and forged out of our voices men and women who are monumentally excelling and strengthening generations. Our voices are powerful because they are formed out of legacies of our lived experiences and the plight of our existence among foreign nations. We are in a time of reaching back and bringing forward our own narrative. We no longer are shackled to the narrative of another. We are by the sheer fortitude and forces of our mothers, destroying the painted landscape of a narrative carved out by the other, where black women are portrayed as angry, hard, and unmoving, overly excited, over-sexualized, threatening, without innocence, and inevitable and incompatible with themselves and with others. We no longer are forced to resign ourselves to the lashes of lies that are spoken from a place of deadened and rotted fear and hate because we are women crowned in a mercy beyond what can be measured. In this grand rising, we bring our voices forward to speak about us to us. We are the voices of the past and the present. Our stories and traditions are linked by her story. The Durat's memory, unfailing in exposing the true essence of soft and loud voices in rhythmic tones of joy and pain, and pain and joy. The black woman's voice is power. It can and does effect change and pave destinies. Our voices speak about and to the adaptability of our movements over time and the resiliency that we share with each other in our voices, we show that we no longer occupy the regulated caricature of an other. We stand in moments with each other, with our hearts, mind, and souls supported by each other. The many Black women of our past, our grandmothers, our mothers, our aunts, and older siblings who cared for us because our mamas were busy making home and life, in these experiences with them, we learned a feeling of pride to be a black woman. Today, in this grand rising, we tell our story, our narrative, to add to the common thread of the voices of black women before us. The voices that reaches further back to our first mothers, to our roots, to our lived experiences that are so similar that we finish the synthesis on our minds, if not in our words themselves. Our lived experiences are their lived experiences. Their plight is our plight. When we speak about the power of our voices, we are retelling the story told for centuries. Our voices are powerful because we hold life and death in our voices. We build and we tear down with our voices. We heal and we inflict painful wounds with our voices. Today, we challenge ourselves and those who witness the stories told to reflect on the image of the black woman as told by the other. Then we implore you to look at us, sister to sister, in conversation, helping to heal with a strong voice, learning to be in spaces made for us by us. This too is her story from our ancestors and has become our story when we struggle together. 
We learn to have triumphs together. As well, when we unfold the richness of our voices, we heal each other. We work together to fill our cup and our sister's cup to overflowing. We forge these alliances of sisterhood over and over again as our ancestors have done. We continue in the traditions of passing through the generations, the knowledge of who we are and the power that our voices carry. In this grand rising today, the beauty that is black and woman has been witnessed to in conversations today. We affirm our being in spaces that are familiar to our soul. We nurture each other. We let shine the beauty of our character. We connect to each other. We discover our help in each other. We renew again the vow of sisterhood. In this grand rising, we are aware of the shine and glistening in our eyes from the tears of pain lifted to knowing, understanding, and a reservoir of devoted care and love. We leave spaces no longer empty, but filled with a grace we call by name amazing. Wherever we were when we walked into the space, we know that we leave with the spirits of the black women who have laid the path for us and who still guide our way through the treachery of the lands we occupy. We know this for sure. The power of our voices keeps us moving forward as sisters. At this grand rising today, we know that the plight of the black woman was the instrument that carved meaning to our powerful voices. We know that this phenomenon did not happen here and now, but our story was forged over time and within time and throughout time. We know our story. We understand the audacity to be powerful and not to play small for others whose lived experiences are not our own. Pure words and spaces of black women do not exist outside of this. I am because we are. Our voices are powerful. Making spaces of beauty does not happen haphazardly with us. We of hashtag Black Girl Magic SL chapter believe in intentionality and purpose. We reach out to our sisters with the grace we offer ourselves to be bold, glamorous, and majestic in our own skin and to celebrate us in the glory of which we were created. <laughs>